All right, so MIUI 13 was recently released and now we have a stable version. We have a stable version which has been released for this device that is the Redmi K40, the Chinese variant. And uh, yeah, it's interesting that the stable version came out so early. So what we've done over here is we've not exactly flashed the Chinese version of MIUI 13. We've actually flashed something better. We flashed Xiaomi.eu 13.0.2 stable, which is based on Android 12 for the Mi 11X. I've been using it since yesterday. Somebody on the channel recently posted that you should use the device with that particular ROM for 24 hours. Well, guess what? Most of the time I'm doing that. If I am not doing that, one of my elite testers are doing that. They use the ROM at least for a day before I actually go ahead and give you the reviews. Now, the reason we have all the same things repeated again in each and every custom ROM is because, well, that's what there is to show. I do show you the battery statistics, the charging speeds, the benchmark numbers. Anyways, let's not spend any more time justifying how videos are made. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Well, if you like chatting, with like-minded people please follow us on telegram we have more than 1500 members over there a lot of other groups are there with a lot of fun and activity you can follow us on instagram twitter and facebook and last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going All right, so let's see here what we have. Now we're gonna have chapters from today. I might not be able to do it in each and every video, but I will try my best to include chapters so that y'all can watch videos in a much more organized manner. The first thing that we're going to talk about is the system information, right? So for that, we will go to settings. Let's go to my device. And as you can see, it does say MIUI version 13.0.2. Now over here, say what's new no info available of course so if you go to all specifications you will see that in the ram section it doesn't show you the extended ram so you know expanded memory using internal storage that is not shown over here octa core max 3.2 is back that means the glitch which was there in which it was showing uh, 2.75 gigahertz over here that has been fixed it does come with the december security patch and it does come with android 12 which of course has the Android 12 Easter egg working absolutely fine, right? So that's the system info. So first things first, let's actually go to additional settings over here. You will see that there is memory extension present over here because we are using a six gigabyte RAM variant. You get two gigabytes of extended memory. Apart from this, you do have gesture shortcuts over here. So, you know, you have three finger screenshot, which works fine, partial screenshot. You have turn on torch back tap and fingerprint gestures are present and they are working fine you have to press a little hard if you're using a hard case like the one that i'm using and yes by the way these are the cases that we are coming up with these are initial units we will share info about that in, in some other video but back tap gesture and fingerprint gesture is something that is present and that's working absolutely fine as far as additional settings is concerned now moving on one neat addition over here in miui 13 what we are talking about is security now the reason why i say that is on almost all android 12 roms if be it miui or be it custom roms I have never seen face unlock and that changes with MIUI 13 stable. You do see that face unlock is present. It works absolutely fine. Fingerprint unlock is present. It works absolutely fine. You do have privacy protection password as well, as you can see, and that works as well. So, you know, app lock and all those things, you can unlock it using the fingerprint scanner and those features just like MIUI 12.5 enhanced are working absolutely okay. Now, as far as customization is concerned, if you go to the main settings over here, you will have wallpaper and personalization. The UI sort of looks the same, just like 12.5, but you do get new live wallpapers over here. So if you go to library, you will see you have snowy peaks, you have molten glass, and then you have these crystallization wallpapers. If you flash the ROM fresh, you actually have to go ahead and download it. But once downloaded and applied on a display, which has AMOLED and always on display, these look really, really nice. Let's have a look over here. There you go okay there you have it you see this camera symbol that means it is looking for the face so face unlock is working as well so pretty good experience in those manners so far 
Apart from this, if you talk about the home screen, when you boot into it, you will of course talk about the launcher. This is the updated launcher, which has smoother animations, better touch response. The app icon animations are much, much better. As you can see over here, they definitely feel polished compared to the beta that we saw on the launch day. So yes, that's absolutely included and that works fine. Apart from this, because we are using Xiaomi.eu, you do get these wallpapers. And if you go to settings over here, go to more, you will get Google Discover as an option over here. So that's a good thing. Double tap to lock screen, don't show text. All these options are present and global app icon animations, show memory status and apply recents is available as well in a horizontal manner. Now, if you go to the recents menu in this table update, you will see that it's very, very cohesive. I mean, trust me, the animations, the smoothness on this ROM, Xiaomi.eu MIUI 13 is something that you have to definitely experience. By the end of the video, I will tell you something that is really, really interesting that has come out. We will talk about that. Moving on, if you actually talk about the security application over here, you will see that you have the updated security application, which comes with Game Turbo 4.0. So if we open CPU throttle test, you will see that you have the new Game Turbo with the performance and the balance mode available that is available and works absolutely fine. Apart from this, if you open something like MI video, you will get the video toolbox over here. Now, depending on the device, you will get different options over here. But as always, you know, in MI 13, you do have the quick sidebar always available. You can enable it and it's really, really smooth, cohesive and it works absolutely fine. Moving on, if we talk about the file manager, even the file manager has some new animations up its sleeve and it does have a new smoother UI. The speed of loading files over here has really, really taken a lot of improvement and it works much, much faster now. So the file manager not only has a new UI, new smoothness, but it works much more smoother and it loads your files much, much faster as well. Moving on, if we talk about the battery section, which is something we need to pay attention to. If you go to battery over here, you will see that you now have the performance profiles. When you enable the performance mode, you do get a warning. Also, as you can see over here, I've been using this device from full charge till 51%. And if we talk about the drain, we've had two, two hours and 10 minutes of screen on time and we've ran benchmarks and stuff. So even in heavy usage, you will get four and a half to five hours of screen on time. And as you can see, we've been on battery for 15 hours. So the standby drain is pretty minimal as well. You do have the ultra battery saver. If you go to the battery section, you do get the temperature in degrees over here instead of that, you know, a denomination of like cool, warm, hot and stuff like that. Charge today, zero time, you do get optimized charging. Automated tasks still has an old UI. It has not received a new UI and you have your scheduled power on and off as well. Now, apart from this, let's actually go ahead and talk to the camera application. The camera application over here is pretty much like MIR 12.5 because it doesn't come with the document protection feature, which was there. But if you actually go to settings, you do have the option of preserve settings. Whatever mode you were on while shooting photos or videos, when you open and close or close and open the camera, the same settings will be preserved. So that feature is there. The camera works absolutely fine. I've not had any problems clicking pictures in portrait mode, in normal mode, in any mode. So in the betas, remember we had issues with cameras. Those issues are gone. It absolutely works fine on all the lenses. Now, moving on, one more important factor over here, we have display over here. All these options which were missing are back. Refresh rate can be changed to 120. AI image engine is there. HDR enhancement, MEMC, all those features are present. One good thing here is you get the new Mi Sans font, which looks decent. It works fine, no problem whatsoever. And the overall you know, shift to the dark mode and the light mode is pretty more cohesive, pretty more smooth. So yes, even in the display section, there are considerable improvements. Now, the things that have not changed in MIUI 13 stable yet is you still get the old control center, although you can, you know, do it manually by installing the new control center APK, which I'll probably make a video on later. The gallery is still the old gallery. It doesn't come with the new UI and a lot of new features. So, you know, these are the things that have changed in MIUI 13 stable. Xiaomi.eu is what I'm using. I actually went ahead and flashed this ROM using the fast boot method, but now they have come up with a recovery ROM. Let me know in the comment section if I should make a video on how to flash Xiaomi.eu MIUI 13 using TWRP. But before we end the video, 
let's go ahead and talk about the benchmark numbers because without them, the story is always incomplete. So we have CPU throttle test over here, which tells you that the average performance was 228, 311 GIPS. Now this is a decent score. It is not as good as MIA 12.5 enhanced, but you can make do with this because it will give you good performance. The CPU throttle to 92% of its max performance. Now, if you go to Antutu over here, you will see that we have 644, 157. That is still 20 to 30,000 less compared to 12.5 enhanced. And apart from this, if you go ahead and talk about Geekbench numbers, those are pretty decent as well. 944 single core, 2950 multi core. So, you know, all in all, if you ask me, the performance is great, the smoothness is decent. You can use this ROM as a daily driver, Xiaomi.eu. Widevine L1 certification is present and the safety net should be passing out of the box. If it doesn't, you can install Magis can, you know, do it that way. So the charging speeds are great. The whole new refreshed UI looks good. It's not something that is major in terms of looks, but the smoothness, the performance, the optimizations can be seen in the 13 stable version. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOp.